and how good God has been to me. In times of grief, sorrow, stress, God has always been there. I thank the Lord for saving me. And I thank the Lord for saving me. This is the international telecast of Apostle Billy Wonder. It has been said by thousands that one service can change your whole entire life. Now get ready for your miracle. Now here is Apostle Billy Wonders. Possibility one is a possibility one is a man's miracle ministry. It has been said by thousands that one service can and will change your whole entire life, my friends. Well, my God, I'm excited about God on today. This is the day the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice, be glad in it. Yes, yes, yes. You're the next in line for your miracle. So get in line. Yes, so many letters are coming in and testimonies are coming in. I was reading a testimony letter of a woman that had a little child that a fever. The child just would just had fever so bad he would go into convulsions and would uh, would, would just just be burning up with fever. And doctors really they they were trying to work with the child to uh, get the child normal concerning the, the fever to to break the fever, bring it down. And uh, but. Uh, there was nothing they could do. They they didn't want to over medicate it or uh, give it too much medicine. But uh, after the mother had uh, 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 a request a prayer cloth, uh, it was sent to her house there, and God gave her baby a miracle. All of a sudden, the fever broke and it diminished out of the child's life. You're the next in line for your miracle. I'm having these prayer cloths right now. I have in my hand. I'm going to personally send these prayer cloths. There are four prayer cloths in my hand. And uh, when you call in, call quickly. Say, I want those prayer cloths that Apostle Wonders was holding in his hand during the telecast. And uh, uh, I, 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 I want him to rush me those prayer cloths, rush me a prayer cloth. And I will do that right away. But you must call in right after the broadcast. Well, you're the next in line for your miracle, so my God, just get in line. Just get in line for your miracle. Yes, 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 my God. Well, it's uh, already winter time. Winter time, winter time is here. Uh, well, it's getting cold outside, but you know, not all the time it gets cold, it's winter time. Sometimes it's chilly and not winter, but it's we're turning into another season now. And uh, this year is just fly with wings on it. And uh, I, I preached a message uh, while I was in uh, 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 an area, uh, while I was in California. I was in California at Bishop Ernest Johnson's church. And um, the um, uh, 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 one of the young men came out to see me. His name is D.J. Yella. D.J. Yella, who's with Easy. Uh, uh, Easy E and Ice Cube and Dr. Dre and I can't remember the other name and I prayed for him and um, God touched him, Amen. God touched. He goes to my friend's church, Bishop Ernest Johnson, uh, who is one of uh, Benzel Washington's producers. But anyway, uh, praise God. God touched him, gave him a miracle. I preached a message. I preached a message about Second uh, Kings four sixteen. About uh, uh, about the the man of God told the Shumanite woman around about this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son, and and many people questioned God in last year, God, what happened? Why didn't I receive my answer last year? What what, what happened? What did I do wrong? God, I've done everything I know to do in fasting, praying, living holy, walking upright, God. What is it that I have actually done wrong? Well, the answer to you that haven't done anything wrong, you've done nothing wrong. 
It was just spoken, my friend. And, and, and you read that scripture in 2 Kings, 4th chapter, uh, verse 16. You read that scripture, that verse, and it said uh, 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 around about this time, around about, about this season, about this season, about this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace the son. Not brace the son right away in this season that he's talking, but the following season ahead. A woman that have a baby, a woman that have a baby when she's first becoming impregnated, she's not a fetus, she's not an embryo. The first two-week-old child is a zygote, zygote. It, it, she don't go into labor right away with a two-week-old baby. It's, it, it, it's impossible for her, a, 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 a baby, two-week-old baby is a nine-month baby. No. So God works with time, dates, and seasons. So God spoke something last year to manifest in this month. It was only spoken last year for you to hear it, that you may listen to it, to it that you may work with it, uh, that it would carry you into the following year or season. That's how God works. Time goes on. There's four seasons that God has carved out. There's spring, autumn, summer, and winter. Oh, my God. Time shifts on. Uh, right now, uh, uh, it, 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 it's not daylight saving time in, in, in Baghdad. They're just eight hours ahead of us. So if it's now, if it's, if, if, if it's, if it's 10 o'clock now, if it's 10.15 now, then it's uh, it's Saturday morning. Uh, it's, 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 it's Monday morning in Baghdad. It's Monday morning. What is it? It's eight hours ahead. Amen. Of us. So God has a way of doing things. Don't get discouraged or fluster or feel like throwing your hands up as though there's a stick up. Because the worst is over. The best is yet to come. God don't make mistakes. He's not a God of mistakes. He is a God of concern. He knows how to do all things. You heard me use in a message that he's the El Roi. He's the all-seeing God. He is the El Roi, the all-seeing God. He don't miss nothing. He don't even have to open his eyes. God don't make no mistake. And if somebody watching the telecast right now, your back is up against the wall. Your back is up against the wall. Oh, up against the wall, up against the wall. Well, you ought to thank God because you have a covering. At least there's a wall there. <laughs> Though your back is against the wall, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. My God, a ship was leaving Spain, headed to U.S., and it sunk. I believe it sunk and went down at the bottom of the floor of the waters. Mm. All the people begin to worry, and my life saving is on board, and my stocks is on board, and this is on board. They had a project called the Black Sweeney Project that went down to rescue the ship. When they went down to rescue it, they found 17 tons of coins and that was worth $500 million. So what did God say? It's not over. It's not over until God tell you it's over. When God says it's over, then it is over. Until then, it's not over. But listen, God knows what to do, how to do a thing. He would not have you to worry. Ecclesiastes 3.14, whatsoever the Lord doeth, it shall be done forever. Nothing can be added to it or anything or nothing taken away. All the good cooks that's watching the telecast, don't it irk you for people to stand over the stove and tell you, why don't you add a little more season to this, a little more salt to that? Go sit down and watch Barney. My God. Oh, I don't like backseat drivers. If you know how to dress, nobody can tell you how to. Your hairstyle is your hairstyle. If it's yours or it's not, if you take it on and put it off, it's still your hairstyle. Come on now. Nobody can snatch and prime your appetite from your system because you love what you love to eat at the table. So God don't need no help. Nothing can be added to it or anything taken away. So what God is saying today, be encouraged, hold your head up high. The worst is over and the best is yet to come. As a woman watching the telecast, your marriage is in trouble. It's shaking like jello. It's tilting like a teeter-totter. But God is ready to balance that marriage off and make it work the way it should work. Oh, 
My God, I see a young lady now. I don't know if her name is Doris, Doris, Dorothy, Dorothy. Yes, Dorothy. And uh, she's something about college, college, college. You will go to college. Just relax in your spirit. You will go to college. All right, I need to draw an eye to the television. I need to take you into a powerful, dynamic service where God moved as though it was going out of style. And I'll be back with you in a few moments. Don't forget, stream it on the TV lean, TV screen, crusade, crusade, crusade. Oh, the crusade is getting ready to not just shake. Greenville, Mississippi. All right. I'm excited about God. I'm excited. I'm excited about God. Forget to order your free miracle prayer cloths and instructions on how to use it. Free of charge, which Apostle Billy Wonders preach in crusades all across America. People all across the world are getting their free prayer cloths today. Don't you miss out on your blessing. The secretaries are waiting. The phone lines are busy. Call now. Don't miss this golden opportunity to get free prayer cloths and watch what God will do in your life. Send your prayer requests and offering to Apostle Billy Wonders to P.O. Box 404 Cleveland, Mississippi 38732. And you can request your miracle prayer cloth point of contact. You are the next in line for your miracle. Call now. Don't miss it. There's been a change in of the guards. Somebody say amen. Some folk may not understand that or cannot enucleate all oh, the guards changing. Changing of the guard. That means there's a shifting. Come on now. There's a shifting. We used to sing the song, ride, Sally, ride. Put your hands on your hips and let your backbone shake. Oh, shake it. <laughs> Some of y'all remember that? Some of you weren't even born. Shake it to the east and shake it to the west. Shake it to the one that you love the best. When if you weren't careful, you'll turn to the wrong person. You got to watch out for Sally. <laughs> Isn't God wonderful? God told me today three times, son, because you chose the compassion for people, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. He said, you have been humble concerning the material things. I may pull up to the auditorium tomorrow with my black uh, Mercedes Benz that someone dropped it off to me. Uh, Apostle Holt from America's Georgia. Uh, the prophetic ministry, him and his wife dropped it off, left the key for me. I might just cruise up the mile and lean back. But it's not about the material all the time. Material can't bail you out. Material can't take you to another height. Material can't take you to heaven. But material can bless you because we're not always apostle in the spirit. A woman told me, I said I tried to call because business called and I couldn't get nobody. Said me and my husband, we were called up before God uh, for two days. I said, yes, the children must not have been home. It's not that you can't be in the spirit. Moses was before the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. Needed no heartbeat. Come on now. Somebody say amen. But there's times we must come down. Is that right? If you stay up too long, you'll be deep. You'll be a Navy frogman. There's some deep folk that you can't tell nothing. What do you see? I'm staring at something. You've been staring for an hour. What you staring at? I'm just staring. What do you see? You can't see what I, I can't see it. Keep looking. I don't see nothing. A lady told me an angel's in back of you. I said, well, you can't. I said, I can't see it. I said, I know what the problem is. She said, what? I said, you took the wrong medication. <laughs> Tonight, God's going to stare us and carry us to another level. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Get somebody by the hand and say, hey, oh, through all the messages, there is a changing of the guards. 
if there's a changing of the guards, that means things are getting ready to change. The situation that was evil is turning into good. Uh, the trouble that tried to do the stoop step, but lack soul training, is dancing off your floor because there's a changing of the guards. Lift your hands and say, there's a changing. Come on, say, there's a changing. There's a changing of the guards. Come on, get three people right ahead and say, hey, neighbor, did you hear what I just told you? There's a changing of the guards. There's a change in, in your house, in your ministry, in your finances, in your spiritual, in your gift, in your profession, in your neighborhood. There's a change that's going to take place. And when God gets through with your enemies, they'll walk with their head dropped down with their mouth so wide open that six flies can go down the tonsils. And when the change take place, there's a different look on your face and there's a changing of the gods and ain't nothing nobody else can do about it when the gods start changing you feel it in your sleep you feel it when you wake up everything look bright the load lift off you somebody say yes get somebody by the hand and say neighbor say neighbor Say, neighbor, there is a change, a change, a change of the God. Thank God. Somebody said, he don't change not. He don't change. Some folk change on you. And when God raise them up or bless them, they forget who you are. They forget that you were a bridge. They forget that you wiped the tears. They forget that you stayed up and prayed and turned your plate down and missed ribs and chicken fried rice and cabbage and chicken and pork chops as large as some noses when you fasted you were a bridge to help somebody to cross over on the other side you can't burn a bridge because if you burn the bridge when trouble comes you don't have no more structure to cross back over lift your hand and say neighbor there's a change in a change say yes wow. there's a change in on the battlefield there's a change in in your punch there's a change in in your bobbing and weaving there's a change in concerning some of your friends you're gonna drop them like a humpy dumpy eggshell and a bad habit you're gonna break away they've been a pull on you they're trying to sap you like air out of a tire and put you on a flat they tried to take you for granted and prostitute your gift and get all they can from you without a dedication but God saw all the hurt he saw the tears drop from your eyes like chocolate off a cake sap off a tree oh wax off a candle God saw you a God is the El Roa he's an all seeing God God don't miss nothing are you ready get somebody by the hand and say neighbor whatever say whatever whatever you do don't give up hold on like you've been raising turtles like you've been raising snapping turtles hold on a change is on the way that's why hell 
broke out like a rash. And that's why your friends disappeared from you. And, and everything is trying to go haywire. And your money is acting funny. And you're broken and ain't no joke. You can't find your parallel. The devil stole the hunting. He coming back to get the moon. But God is saying tonight, I'll never leave you. I'm coming to bail you out. I'm coming to show the devil I'm the big G-O-D. I'm God all by myself and I don't need no help. Lift your hands and say neighbor. If you see me, start shouting and run around the church. I'm not crazy. It's just another Holy Ghost attack. When God get ready, you got to move. You got to move. I don't care how sophisticated you are, how long your hair is. If you don't have it pinned down, it can fly off. I don't care. How high your heels are. I don't care how bad your shape is. Your shape is so tough, you may stop the traffic beside a police officer. Somebody say yes, but I heard the songwriter say one day, when God get ready, you got to move, baby. I don't care how educated you are. I don't care how much money you got in the bank when God say yeah get somebody by the hand and say when God when God when God get ready you got to move you got to move faster than diarrhea you got to move faster than a speeding bullet than a locomotive God whatever you want me to do tell me if you want me to jump ha ha if you want me to run like Jesse Owens and Wilma Rudolph how fast you want me to praise you I will lift your hand and say neighbor it's time it's time say yeah wow I feel good it's time to get tired of the devil I'm tired of the same old the same old stuff the same old pains the same old same old I'm tired of the bills stacked up like Aunt Mammy pancakes. And I'm tired. And in this conference, you're going to do something about it when you get through whipping the devil upside the head, sitting on his brain, squashing his nose, giving him two black eyes, calling the Lone Ranger. When you get through with it, you look like Flavor Flame, but it's not over. When you get through with the devil, you're going to tell him, I'm going to find Alice Presley to tell the devil, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Ah, stand up on your feet. Get somebody by the hand. Grab that hand. Hold that hand. Lock it and grip it. Look them in the eyeballs and say, neighbor, they tried to stop me, but stop. Got out of my way. Neighbor, tonight the Lord is coming down the highway like a fire truck everything in the pathway when the fire truck come down the lane every 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 everything that's in the way must move aside every hindrance you're getting ready say neighbor i'm getting ready say neighbor I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to go back to the doctor to get a good report to take me off of pills because
is my doctor is JC he's a doctor that never lost a case he's a lawyer in the courtroom he's a bridge over troubled water he's a light bulb in times of darkness he is a friend he's an eagle to take me higher he's a punch against hell he's my a my all in all he's my b he's my best friend he's my c he's my comforter he's my d he's my deliverer i heard mary and joseph when they left jesus in jerusalem they began to look among the kinfolk and the acquaintance they didn't find him they went a day's journey and went back to jerusalem which is the headquarters where the apostolic council had meetings somebody say yes when they went back jesus was among the doctors they asked the question they asked the question son how old are you he said on my mother's side i'm 12 years old on my father's side i'm older than methuselah say yes say yes come on 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 mama come on 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 mama come on come on come on come on walk walk mama walk she's out of the wheelchair 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 bring the wheelchair over here she's out of the wheelchair come on mama come on come on mama come on come on come on come on come on come on she's up out of the wheelchair and instructions on how to use it free of charge which Apostle Billy Wonders preach in crusades all across America people all across the world are getting their free prayer cloths today don't you miss out on your blessing the secretaries are waiting the phone lines are busy call now don't miss this golden opportunity to get free prayer cloths and watch what God will do in your life. Send your prayer requests and offering to Apostle Billy Wonders to P.O. Box 404 Cleveland, Mississippi 38732. And you can request your miracle prayer cloth point of contact. You are the next in line for your miracle. Call now. Don't miss it. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget to order your Miracle Prayer Cloth by Apostle Billy Wonders, free of charge. God bless you. Order from our 1-800-Prayer Line. 